Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Durga Diana from Empathic Moon 777. I want to welcome you guys to this energy update on the Divine Feminine. This will be a two-part, so this will be the first part. The second part uh, will be coming up in, I don't know, I should have it uploaded today or tomorrow. Here's the energy update for the Twin Flame Collective. This is Divine Feminine energy towards the Divine Masculine at this time. So um, just take it as it resonates here, but it's pretty clear what the energy is here for Divine Feminine, all right? So Divine Feminine's energy, and if you resonate with the Collective, be sure to subscribe. And if you want a personal reading, I do offer that. This, this reading right here is the divine uh the twin flame in depth reading so this what you see here is what you're going to get if you book this reading for your for your divine counterpart and yourself and there's two parts so this is divine feminines the other ones is divine masculines same idea um so just letting you guys know and um we're going to get into the energies we're going to talk about what the reading is about this is what spirit wants to share uh, for our collective at this time. So it's for Divine Feminine. Her reading is about uh, a new path, um, a new vision. All right. So it's kind of like uh, you're going back to the to the drawing board and you're making a new plan. Um, but you're doing this uh, to release fear. So the plan that's that you're the, the plan for Divine Feminine it's a vision to release fear and anxiety right now, all right? And following the Hierophant's energy. The Hierophant's energy is about following a pathway. It could be a spiritual pathway. It could be a religious pathway. It's like using step-by-step -step, um, good moral ethics and guidelines uh, with this plan while releasing fear and anxiety, all right? Trusting uh, the intuition, all right? So here is what the reading is about. And then her main overall energy towards the divine masculine here. I also want to talk about this higher self. This higher self here is connected to this. So her higher self is working with her. Like she could be listening to her higher self or her intuition now. Like she she probably has been doing that. But this is what the reading is about. It's about divine feminine now um following her higher self all right her higher self is with the with her following her guiding her and telling her that uh she can move forward with um what do you call it when you um when you readjust something you when something doesn't work you readjust it right uh going back to the drawing board all right not giving up but just going a different way, planning in a different way. And for her, it seems like right now, it's just about releasing, all right, letting go, uh, especially as it relates to the mental part, uh, the fear, the anxiety, all right, and really tapping into trusting the intuition, using um, these strong moral values, all right, staying in a in an honorable way, okay? So... That's very cool. All right. Thank you, Spirit, for that. The main energy towards Divine Masculine in connection to this, we have here powerhouse of energy, emotions, and swift progress. So she wants to get going with this energy here. All right. It's built inside of her. It's like so much energy is inside of her that wants to come out in relation to this. This is what her emotional fulfillment is at this time and she wants to move with this all right she wants to take off with this she could be also even uh communicating with the divine masculine in connection to you know what her wishes are and what her uh desires are and how she wants to move forward this is her main energy because we have here a milestone all right remember this plan this vision all right this is an intention to take steps right not giving up it's it's going, uh, it's taking a different approach. Something didn't work. Now we're going to go back to the drawing board. We're going to follow this. I feel passionate about this. This is what I want to do. 
and taking steps towards this event, which is a milestone, all right? So this is definitely something uh, significant uh, for Divine Feminine um, going into this, um, I, you could call it a new chapter, you could call it a new path or trying something new, just take it how it resonates. In the mind, all right, there's a lot of swords in the mind. We have four of swords, six of swords, two of swords. So very strong mind energy. But I like that we have four of swords here. There's a healing going within, isolation, non-action, silence, taking a break, healing, rest, and recalibration. So she's going within, maybe doing meditation, taking some rest, uh, reflecting in silence, right? Not doing anything. And she's balancing herself in relation to that. And why? Because she wants to transition. Remember, we have this powerhouse of energy. She, this is her wish. Yes. So she's in her mind. She's like, I'm going to meditate. I'm going to heal myself to help with this transition to better times ahead, to restore or to make peace and to become uh, more stable where when it comes to this rock in a hard place there's no clear way out uh with the situation uh there's a stalemate there's things that are, are things are not moving all right there's a rock in the hard place but she's going within and she's utilizing this new approach here because we have your stuck energy all right there is a, a stagnant energy stuck it's very stuck look at this truck all right this is the energy all right, but she's doing so with a consciousness of great gratitude. And I love that energy, all right? This four of swords is really helping her to focus. It's helping her to stay balanced and to stay in this consciousness of great gratitude. Yes, there is some kind of stuck energy happening right now in the connection, but she's not, she's not um, like, say, for instance, um, going into the low vibration or staying in that low vibration very long she's taking uh the reins on her life and saying i'm going to heal myself i know that there is the stuck energy it's very obvious <laughs> but i'm going to do this uh with an energy of great gratitude all right so i love that in the heart center we have um queen of cups so with this energy here, this new, um, this new pathway, I, I don't know how to say this, we'll say making a plan, making a plan, a new plan. Um, in her heart, she's like, I got to be in my heart center and I have to follow my intuition. I got to, you know, flow with my feelings. Um, I got to find some kind of creative ways um, to uh, express and I have to get in touch with myself and be in the flow uh, with what is happening and in a loving energy and with my intuition and my spiritual gifts. That's uh, the energy in the heart. And it's about this holding on. So it's about this stuck energy here. Okay, this rock in a hard place, this material attachment, possessive scarcity mindset, um, accumulation. So it could be about material um, accumulation. Uh, it could be something, uh, some kind of attachment in the physical, all right? This can be anybody or anything, right? It's something in the material that you're attached to, all right? So Divine Feminine's like, I got to be the Queen of Cups with this and this discord, people divided, all right? So this, there's people involved in this scenario. There could be family problems. There could be some kind of uh, disunion uh, with um, two people. There may be some kind of lack of support. Somebody's feeling unwelcomed or canceled events. All right, discord, all right? That's connected with this four of coins. She's saying, I gotta be in my heart space, all right? Because we have here intuition and manifestation. So what I do feel, because the higher self is there helping her, she's, um, she's utilizing her gifts. She's using 
uh, like if she's an empath or if she's like in tune, obviously very in tune because her higher self is guiding her. We have here intuition, queen of cups here. And this is helping her to manifest something. Because remember here, we have this making a plan. The higher self is guiding her. Okay. The manifestation is with this plan. She's following her intuition. Higher self is guiding her. She knows that there's something here going on, but she's utilizing, she's doing something for herself. You know what I mean? She's, she's trying to make it, um, she's trying to stay in a high vibration. That's what I'm getting here. There's this teacher here. All right. There is some kind of teaching aspect here going on. She could be teaching in this situation. Um, also, um, I do also get the sense that there may be some kind of teaching and learning um, in this energy here where there may be other people involved. She could also be a teacher here with this discord, with this situation, all right? And she's saying that I got to follow my heart in relation to that. Um, in the environment here, we have the physical world. We have three of wands. So we have manifest your dreams. We had that manifest in the heart, right? So here we have manifest your dreams in the physical. So she's doing, you know, she's, she's utilizing her divine feminine power, right? And She's utilizing her feelings and intuition to manifest her dreams, all right? For there to be a, a, de, a big development here, uh, forward progress, all right? You see two people here, they're married, okay? Manifest your dreams, okay? So this is what she's going towards right now in her physical is manifesting her dreams, what she wants. Look at this crazy energy here <laughs> death the pre-manifest like this is some really powerful stuff that she's doing right now she's manifesting right now all right um she's wanting to have a big change we have death external changes complete renewal transformation total overhaul transition finished it's over change that's enough I'm, I know this is what I want, right? And this is the pre-manifest, all right? Establish a clear vision, thoughts becoming things. So there's some really, really um, deadly, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> I'm going to say deadly because the death card is there. <laughs> there's some amazing energy there. She's really taking the reins oh my gosh she's taking the reins in her life and she's doing so like a boss like you cannot great gratitude okay yeah there's the situation here but i'm not gonna let that deter me and what i want in my life all right so it's so amazing and i love that it's it's connected to behind a mask attention intention so there is some kind of um the intention here is is uh, somebody, there's a mask here, all right? And this mask is, I feel like, is what is driving this change, you know what I mean? And this could be her, like she's hidden, she's in a mask, like, and she has to come out, you know what I mean? It could be something like that. We have here commitment, right? commitment so it's about commitment all right it's about union um getting out of the mask that's could be very well what she's manifesting is getting out of this mask and you know talking to her higher self or asking her higher self to guide her where to go with this you know what i mean i feel like you know what i mean so this is what's coming through here. We have here King of Cups. What is her spiritual beliefs, spiritual uh, values as it relates to the Divine Masculine, King of Cups. So, <clears throat> so she believes the Divine Masculine, all right, 
um, is head and heart centered. The divine masculine is very kind hearted. All right. Also emotionally contained and has emotional mastery. All right. Okay, so the King of Wands is here, and then we have the Queen of Wands here, all right? The King of Wands is the Queen of Wands, is, is, the, is the connection here. Confident, sexy, energetic, courageous, visionary, but look at what we have here. Lovers, divine union. So her spiritual beliefs and values is the connection between the two of them, all right? There is an emphasis on the heart center of the divine masculine, and there's an emphasis on uh, confidence and courage with the divine feminine, Queen of Wands. But this is all about the love and having union. So it's all about divine union or being together in this divine union. This is her spiritual belief. This is what this is what she values, okay? in the in the divine masculine and it's it's in relation to this energy of deserving and playing it safe consciousness of deserving so knowing what she wants right this is what she deserves she knows she deserves this this is her value and her belief right um and it's it's in an energy of playing things safe right not going out and doing like risky things, right? Um, that could potentially maybe, I don't know, maybe cause some kind of disruption in some kind of way. There's something about staying within uh, a certain place. And as she's staying in that place, she knows that she's deserving of this connection. All right. So that's what I'm getting here. And then I just wanted to talk about her main overall energy towards divine masculine. We have here this key, this cage, this rose, strengthening bonds. So what I do feel like her overall energy is that she just, she wants to, I do feel like the, the cage is open here. The rose is there. All right. There is no... There's no lock, all right? There is a key there. Um, <clears throat> I do feel like it's about finding the, um, what do you call it? Um, <sighs> this is opened already, all right? This is open. This is uh, representing love, right? So this is open, but it's about strengthening the bonds of the connection, strengthening the the connection between the two of them divine masculine divine feminine all right i do feel like this is already open already this love is open the cage is open the key is already there all right it's already there okay but now it's about strengthening the bonds for her all right the connection all right so that's the reading guys and stay for part two I uh, will have it linked at the end of this video. Thank you so much. I love you.